Hello. Today we're going to talk about Orly Gartland's new music video, I Go Crazy, because I was involved in it. If you haven't seen it yet, take a few minutes to check it out. It's um, surreal. It's weird. I directed it uh, along with a big team of creative people, including uh, Sammy Paul, Kieran O'Brien, Greta Isaac, uh, lots of people that you might have heard of before. So Orla and Greta and Kieran all came to me with this idea for a 2D analog feeling music video. They showed me the cover art that Demi Whiffin had already done for the single and they showed me lots of other music videos that they sort of liked the look of as well. What I really liked about this was the sort of collage photo montage style and I'd done an experiment using paper stop motion uh, on an old unaired V-Source introduction based on Terry Gilliam's work like way back. So I sent it to them and we sort of developed the idea around just using paper stop motion elements over the top of actual video. Orla is very well known for the faces that she pulls when she's performing. Uh, I think it's fantastic, I think it's really defining, so I really pitched the idea of sort of embracing and owning that, I, that, that, that concept and uh, extending that for this video almost in like a caricature-ish way. I looked at lots of collage artists that I really liked and how they manipulated faces and made them all a bit distorted and unsettled and a little bit creepy and kind of matched that up to the lyrics of the video which are about like being unsettled and, and being sort of mentally destabilized by a relationship and sort of tried to come up with shots that worked to the lyrics without being too literal to them as well. We had one photo shoot morning at my house, we destroyed my living room and got everything printed and ready for the shoot day. We had one day to shoot it so we had to get everything then. So to do it we needed an animatic to see how it would feel and look. This is sort of what the animatic ended up looking like. It's a bit shit. But it gave us a great sense of the pace of the video and how many different shots we would need. Sammy was a real help in sort of putting that all together with me. So most of the shooting day was very choppy and bitty and, and lots of the shots just ended up looking like this. Go crazy now. I go Good. And I'd say one more, but just keep your head a little bit still. Kieran, mm -hmm. can we just um, pan slightly onto the right so I've got a little bit... That's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I took everything home and roughly cut everything together as much as I could. And then I took the footage, which was 25 frames per second, and I halved it to 12.5. That gives it that kind of stuttered, staggery effect. Uh, if I'd left it at 25, it would have been quite literally double the work. I exported it as a PNG sequence and didn't send it to my local printer as it was really expensive and I quite liked the look of quite cheap printer paper. So I just sent it to this printer over here and hit print. Using the onion skin feature, I lined up each mouth with the previous one using the bottom point between the two front teeth as my anchor point. Because actually, like when you speak, it's the bottom it's the bottom jaw that moves. Imagine if it was your top jaw, you'd be like, hi, how does it go? And then when I was finished doing that, this was the result. I brought it back into Premiere and using Keylight, keyed out the green. The final result after all the animation was this. Crazy, crazy. 